Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in another round. This time we are playing a siege because you know, oh you may not know, we haven't played a siege in I think in a while so that's quite good against some world bearers that is not bad as well. So emergency purgation of a combat zone was ordered by we don't know of the Caligari conclave to support operation we don't know. Your sacred task is to clear your enemy strong points with extra military support. Report for mandatory mind scrubbing upon completion. Purge all enemy strongholds. has dug in at multiple strong points over the battlefield. Mount an assault and take them one by one. When the Imperial banner flies high, you will get reinforcements at your current position. Revel in carnage, Inquisitor. Will do, will do. We of course are trying to do our best right here, which is quite good. And if you have seen the last couple of episodes, we had some outside missions, so to say, on fresh air, but not a frozen wasteland in the last two to three episodes. So a change of setting here, of course, is pleasing to my eyes. That is very, very cool. Let's already resummon the tank because it always takes the longest to resummon him. And these constructs, which we just now have resummoned, you know, are faster. There we are. Overran and butchered without mercy. Adjust in to the vial. The strong point is ours. Move on. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Let's back off those guys, and then we go on. Okay, we are even being um, threatened from behind. That is, of course, not good. But we have a little bit support. That is good and all nice or great in this kind of mission set. Of course, we have a little bit of support by Imperial Guardsmen or Astra Militarium Guardsmen if we want to be precise which give SSC as many as there are, there are gives us immense ton loads of bonus damage so uh, I of course would like to kill off the um, the Flamer which is um, bringing us or brought us some trouble here not anymore. Well, I lost oversight here. That is never a good thing to happen. So this word bearer is then down. Good. Thank you very much. Unbound Ravenger is down. This guy falls quickly as well. And did we? No. There still seems to be a couple of enemies right around the corner and I'm not certain where that of course is one thing which ain't good which ain't great I don't know whether there is a certain radius um, which pulsates so to say and does not bring us this little um, strong point here that is very weird um, there were always th there are still I guess some things in this game which are not round and one of these of course are not summoned enemies. Well, um, this thing is down. Okay, that's of course very, very bad. Um, what I will try, we will go on and try to find the next point, wherever it is. Maybe that is going to help out. I don't know. Or maybe in time, these guys in the back will. <laughs> do the rest even uh, even if we have to abort or surrender right here it is not that bad Ex at least we get a little bit of experience that is something which ain't that bad as well even though of course we don't get the biggest um, loot out of it then okay, these are goners um, this could be another point even though if we can't capture it by now but fair enough let's eradicate all them enemies right here down they are we lost two constructs which is bad and as predicted we can't really um, 
we can't really take that point. Well, not good, not good, not good. And of course, what is very, very weird, let's get back to this point, that there are no enemies around. No enemies whatsoever. I basically don't have any AOE damage to try to kill the point. So, let's then, that is very, very unsatisfying. I can just say that. Let's go just on a little bit of a hunt right here and try to kill a couple of more enemies even though it directly does not bring us anything but maybe just maybe we find a little chest with some little items in it which will in the end give us one or two upgrades even that might be great and would be much appreciated so to say So big guy down, we are extremely low in HP and as you can see the um, buff there from the, all oh, not the buff but the um, flaming was not so good for us, it um, constantly drained our HP so to say. And so that is actually the fight we wanted to have, it's just in Hellbrood but it might give us a couple of upgrades that might not be that bad. I'll try to focus on those world bearers. Okay, we have one just threatening us from behind. I don't want to die. So let's get some support down here. So it's always good that if you retreat, those um, constructs will just be teleported to you, which of course is helping out a lot. So I'd say I don't want to waste, so to say, too, too much time here. I would like just to kill this guy and then we will give up, we will surrender, although I of course don't like to do that. It's already, already heavily damaged, that is good for us, of course. It took down a lot of constructs, which is of course not that good, lost already nearly 20,000 HP. So now it's resummoning those gobblers, which are not a real threat, but, you know, many enemies shooting at you, even if they don't do much of damage, in the end, the amount of damage done to you is. Their demise is your salvation, Inquisitor. It's not always that good. Alright, this guy then falls. Good, good, good. I would, of course, like to open up the chest wherever it is down here okay that is what I was actually speaking about small upgrades much appreciated maybe maybe small upgrades we of course don't know that for certain A couple of us coming from here so I um, want to say sorry that the mission here is a little bit bugged um, that of course is Disappointing, as I said um, before, very, really, very really unsatisfying, um, but we can't do much against it. Once a mission is bugged, it is actually bugged. Okay, they just exploded, and we, so to say, actually uncovered all the map. So, guys, <laughs> we are going to abort the mission. That is so sad. We would have made it, and that would have, of course, given us better gear in the end but sometimes you just can't change those things we just need to accept them over all all right back we are does that mean okay no that of course does not mean um that we have not got any items at all okay guys um we can actually go into construct setup i would like to give this wonderful thing something very very special and that is this thing 25 plus health regeneration and melee bonus and I'd say I'll go and swap around those things I think that is helping out okay item level 56 okay we can't equip it by now okay that's too bad so we have a 
Anything here plus melee damage, physical damage bonus. Okay, no, we'll upgrade at all. Plus damage bonus 3%, 4.6%. Four, uh, okay, no upgrade at all. And I think we could even rather upgrade this guy here. If we can. Okay, no, in the end, no. That's too bad. Okay, guys. In the end, that leads us right now to the end of this episode. I know, guys, it was a little disappointing and unsatisfying, but sometimes, well, you just don't have um, too, too much luck here, I guess. But, guys, that right now leads us to the end of this episode, and you know it. Um, I really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode Ooh, that we could do okay uh we have something for the next episode for now have a nice day stay frosty bye